Welcome to Agron Infotech. Two-way analysis of variance is the extension of one-way analysis of variance. It is suitable for experimental designs in which only one observation exists for each combination of levels in two group variables. Group variable or grouping variable is a term, used to denote a defined variable in Amstat that separates out observations into units of similar characteristics. The most common group variable in agronomic research is treatment. Group variable or treatment may be irrigation, fertilizer, specific variety of crop, location or any other independent action. ANOVA 2 in Amstat computes a two-way analysis of variance with or without missing variables. Before starting you need an active data file, with at least two group variables. I am using Huron 1 data file from Amstat. You can get this file by going to Files menu and select Open, type Huron 1 and hit Enter. In the main menu go to Sedite. This file contain two group variables. First group variable is treatment labeled as Entry, comprised of 30 varieties and second group variable is replication comprised of 4 levels. Third variable is yield in grams. Just ignore the fourth variable, this variable has nothing to do with the analysis. In main menu type 4 or go to ANOVA, 2. Here you need to give the case range. In this example case range is 120 which is obtained by multiplying replication with varieties. If the case range given is different from what you have then choose no otherwise choose yes and hit enter. Now you need to enter values for group variables. First group represents the replication or blocks. Replication is in second column in data file so type 2, then its lowest level that is 1 and highest level that is 4. Second group variable is treatment or varieties which is in first column, so type 1, then its lowest level that is 1 and highest level that is 30. Now choose the dependent variable that is yield in grams per plot by pressing spacebar and hit enter. Choose appropriate answer for first and second group variable. Also choose yes for storing mean over the second group variable at the end of file if you want to apply mean comparison test. Choose no as we are not going to perform single degree of freedom orthogonal polynomial contrast analysis. If you are interested in partitioning treatment sum of squares into single degree of freedom polynomial orthogonal contrast then also watch the suggested video, the link is in the description. Hit S or choose save output to disk. Name the file with extension .doc and press enter. Open the saved file, in analysis of variance table, you will get the results for replication or blocks and entry or variety source of variation. For second group variable that is entry or varieties, the means differ significantly at 1% level of significance. In this case the null hypothesis is rejected as all variety means are not equal. Alternate hypothesis will be accepted that represents at least two means are significantly different. The results also showed that the independent variable, that is, replication or blocks, do not vary regarding dependent variable that is yield. It means accept null hypothesis that shows all replication means are equal. In ANOVA table, you are not able to get complete information regarding significant variable. So I also applied a mean comparison test. In the main menu go to Sedite and note the case number for means of entry or varieties. Then go to range or type 39 in main menu. For selection of mean comparison test, it is better to choose two key test for large number of means as in this case for varieties. I am going first for LSD test just to show you the difference between LSD and two key test. However, LSD test is suitable for variable comprised of 3 to 6 means. Enter case number from where mean starts for this variable. Enter variable number for parameter yield that is 3, number of replications that is 4 and number of means that is 30. Enter error mean square and error degree of freedom. Save this result with the extension dot doc. Now repeat the same steps to do two key test. I am going to save both files to show you the difference between LSD and two key test. Here is the result of both tests. Here you can see the difference between the two tests applied on same variable. LSD give in-depth comparison with smaller difference making difficult to interpret the results for such variable containing large number of levels. 
In Tukey's test the results can be interpreted more easily as it compare treatments with larger difference value. You can easily group varieties which performed better or yielded maximum, then followed by and the variety that yielded the least. I hope this will be a useful information for you. If you want to get similar information hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video.